and this year we were able to actually help two of our own. And this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Neil starting this in the club. At first they were a little hesitant and now it's just gone over the top. And, well, Neil deserves a big hand for, for doing all this. <laughs> Goes to Tim. Thank you for Thank your you. service to the country. Thanks. Thank you on behalf of all of us. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that uh, really recognize uh, the, the, the things that you guys go through. I, th I don't think we can ever appreciate, uh, uh, you know, uh, how, it, how it impacts uh, lives, uh, some of the sacrifices that you've all made. But uh, um, and I, I know I personally uh, will never be able to fully appreciate that. But uh, this is just a small token, something we could do to, to honor you and, and to thank you. Thank you. Tim, I would also like to uh, welcome you home. You were also a member of our VFW post, 5861 right. from Alma, <laughs> and you're so is your grandfather. Yep. So, welcome home. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. With that, I would like to kind of turn it over, first of all, to our club president, Conrad Boyle, who will start out the rest of the proceedings. Okay. We'll give you an official welcome from this man to you, so that's over, because the rest of the day is his. Um, I'm very pleased and very honored to do this. I'm sure you're all feeling very honored to be here. We've all been touched by somebody injured or lost in, in uh, military service. And if you haven't been there, you just totally cannot understand it. You just can't. But uh, this gentleman has given us the best of the best. And we've got a lot of things to say to him. I hope you don't get bored before we're all done with this. I got something to say, too, at the end. <laughs> well, <you're not> allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we took a vote, and you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> uh -oh. First, uh, First Amendment too. <laughs> we, we have a number of, of honorable people from uh, our local government and police agencies that have proclamations and citations that are to present to Tim. So we're going to start off with our uh, our favorite here, the county clerk, Chris Jacobs. Please. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sergeant. Uh, it's an honor to be here, and I'm just going to briefly read a certificate that we have here from the clerk's office. Um, be, on behalf of the residents of Erie County, we express our gratitude and thanks for your courage, devotion, and self-sacrifice to your country. Your immeasurable, contrib your immeasurable contributions represent the American character at its best and for the ideals for which it truly stands, presented this day, the 3rd of July, 2014. Um, and I just wanted to mention the connection that uh, uh, the clerk's office has with our veterans here is we're charged with keeping a record of the honorable discharge papers of veterans. Uh, so they and their families always have a copy if in, in fact they cannot uh, obtain their, their original if they have it. Uh, what we have done uh, over the last few years is try to amplify that in terms of providing a benefit to the veterans here and what we created is a Erie County Thank a Vet program. What we do now is when discharge papers are put on file we issue a picture ID and we've gone out to area businesses and say will you give a discount to the veteran. We have over 200, uh, 750 businesses that have now signed up to give various levels of discounts to our veteran. Now I know that you don't live here anymore but you are always uh, we will always use having Erie County as your home. So we uh, got a copy of your picture and we made you your own uh, Erie County Thank a Vet oh, card. So you. when you're back home, you can save a little money. Thank you. Kate. You're going to be busy. Kate. <laughs> Next, I'd like to present our county legislator, Joe Larigo. Thank well. you. Yeah, I just have a, a short proclamation. Nothing that we can really say can thank you, Tim, for, for all that you've done for our country. Uh, this is a proclamation that will be adopted on uh, our next session on Thursday, July 10th. Because whereas the Erie County Legislature seeks to honor individuals and institutions of Erie County who enhance the quality of life in the community through their efforts, and whereas Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne served his country and suffered grave injuries on July 3rd, 2011, three years ago today, while deployed during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and whereas Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne enlisted in the U.S. Army in December 2003 and in December 2010 volunteered to join the 10th Mountain Division at Fort Drum. And whereas Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne had a passion to serve his country 
as an exceptional soldier, and in recognition of his heroism was awarded the Purple Heart in July 2011. And whereas Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne's three brothers, Brian, Stephen, and Andrew, all have served in their country's armed forces, and his wife Kate, and his parents, Douglas Payne and Shirley Stanton, have supported the family's sacrifice. And whereas Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne is an inspiration to those who have met him, including our nation's president and Prince Harry of England, working with other wounded soldiers to provide comfort and inspiration. Now therefore be it resolved that the Erie County Legislature pause in its deliberations to recognize and acknowledge Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne's service and sacrifice. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. I'm not too smart, so I have to have a piece of paper. Uh, next, I would like to present again uh, uh, Sheriff Timothy Payne. Is that correct? No, you're not Timothy Payne. Chris Moss. Chris Moss. Yes, Chris Moss. Thank you. Everybody Chris got my number now? Yeah. We want to see your picture on national news in a good way for a long time to come. Okay. We're all rooting for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lieutenant Governor, Governor and beyond. Um, Sergeant, uh, first of all, on behalf of the sheriffs across the state and president of the New York State Sheriff's Association, we want to thank you for your service. Um, in two weeks, we're going to have our summer conference, and this is a program that hunting clubs throughout the state ought to be partaking in this M1 program. So I'm going to be proud to introduce this to the executive board and say, you know what, why aren't we doing this in every county in New York State, not just here in Erie County. It's an excellent idea. Uh, I want to thank all the veterans that are here for their service. I want to thank the uh, East Aurora Fish and Game Club. Uh, and again, I want to thank Sheriff Howard and Sheriff Whitney, and Whitney my uh, co-sheriffs across the state. And uh, the sheriff here is uh, very modest, believe me. Uh, um, I'm inspired by what he does uh, every day here in Erie County and how he has stood up himself to Governor Cuomo and the SAFE Act. So on behalf of the sheriffs across the state, uh, I want to congratulate you on today's uh, award you're going to get and uh, thank you for your service. Thank you. This one I remember because he's always bugging me. Um, Bill is going to make a presentation on behalf of Dave DiPietro who couldn't be here today. All right. So I'll let you read. Can you read? I think I can read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he learned last week. <coughs> Tim, this is from Assemblyman Dave D. Patrick, and it's the Assembly of the State of New York. I will read the whole thing to everybody here. Bear with me. Whereas a great state is only as great as those persons who give exemplary service to their community whether through participation in voluntary programs, through unique personal achievement in their professional or other endeavors, through participation in local government, or simply through a lifetime of good citizenry. And whereas, attended to such concern and in full accord with his long-standing traditions, this legislator is justly proud to congratulate Staff Sergeant Timothy A. Payne for his outstanding service to his country as a member of the United States Army. And whereas, Timothy, born in 1982, grew up in East Amherst, New York, joined the United States Army in 2003, and whereas Timothy has served in the Army for 11 years and who was honorably discharged in the beginning of this year, and whereas Timothy has received the Afghanistan Campaign Medal with two campaign stars, Army Achievement Medal four times, Army Good Conduct Medal three times, National Defense Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Iraq Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon, NATO Medal, Combat Infantryman Badge, Expert Infantryman Badge, Gold Recruiter Badge, and Three Star Sapphires. Basic march Marksmanship Qualification and on the 3rd of July 2011, Timothy was awarded the Purple Heart from the President of the United States for wounds received in action. And whereas on the 3rd of July, the East Aurora Fishing Game Club will present Staff Sergeant Timothy Payne with an M1 rifle for his service to our country. And whereas within every community of the state of New York, there are certain individuals who, by virtue of their commitment and dedication, command the respect and admiration of their community for their contributions and service on behalf of others. And whereas such service, which is truly the lifeblood of the community and the state, so often goes unrecognized and unrewarded. Now therefore be it resolved, as a duly elected member of the State Assembly of New York, I recognize that Timothy A. Payne is an outstanding citizen and serviceman, one who is worthy of the esteem of both the community and the great state of New York. Dated July 3rd, 2014, David J. B. D. P. April, 147th District Assembly. Thank you. Thank you. 
explain other than I just I heard that uh, Sheriff Howard and Sheriff Moss were going to be here, and uh, as as Sheriff Howard said, you know, and Sheriff Moss said, uh, we're we, we took off right at the beginning when the Safe Act came out, and this is a great program, and I would like to see this. I would like to see this in Allegheny County also. So uh, I basically come up to see what you're doing and to uh, to honor Sergeant Payne here uh, for his dedication to duty and. Uh, Congratulations, that's all I can say. I can't say any more than that. Thank you. Okay, Tim, uh, we're going to say this now because in a few minutes you're going to be very busy. All right. All right. All right. Sorry about that, but we had to do it. Too. From all the members of the East Aurora Fishing Game Club, especially those of us who are veterans, we assume. Thank you very much. Where'd you go? Yeah. Yeah. Sheriff? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Take the president. I'll go through the Heroes like this and like the others represented here, that we always have our Second Amendment right um, because of the people that fought and sacrificed um, for it, but to everyone else here that's done the work that keeps this program going. Congra congratulations. I really wished it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> We, we have it set up that if you would like to shoot that relic. Uh, yeah. Okay. We, have all <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we have some ammunition here, and uh, Bill's going to show you how to drive it if you don't know how, which I kind of doubt. <laughs> Can you a group shot of all the dignitaries first? That's a great idea. Gentlemen, would you all please come over behind me? Okay. Yeah, you can. Hey, Chris? Yeah, I'm sorry. One second. Okay.